Hello, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be making a egg farm, or chicken farm, whichever way you want to uh, go with it. Uh, the whole reason of that is I want plenty of eggs, and, well, the best way to do that is to make an egg farm. Um, it saves me opening a pen, running around collecting everything, and, well, waiting for chicken to spawn when I can just make a farm. They we're using some water, uh, water physics and that, you can actually get the eggs to drop off in one pot, spot and you can just stand there if you feel like it, be uh, AFK for a while. So we're going to do that. Um, now, I am going to have to uh, destroy this egg farm because I won't need it anymore. So I'm going to get on with that because I don't need the chickens, I don't believe. They're no use to me. So kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. I'll die. Some of them are escaping. I may leave two. I might leave two. Just so we've got some, just in case. Oh, there's a third one there. And I don't know. Some, some, it's weird. Sometimes animals get out and it's annoying. <laughs> to be honest with you. So I've got two left. So what I'm going to do is... Just destroy this. I need a big size area. Now, if I can do it quick before these chickens decide to try and escape. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Right. So now I've got all this area I can use to. Uh, you know, the main reason why I didn't want to kill the last two is just in case this goes horribly wrong and I don't get any chickens or hardly any. Now, this will take a bit of time to set up because you've got to wait for the chickens to mature and. You know, you've got to wait for that. Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. I don't need them anymore, so. You in there. Now, you need an 8x8 area, so what I'm going to be doing is using this area here. Now, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. I've got some stone, so let's just mark out 8, shall we? So some... What are the torches, anyway? I'm sure I've only got one. Huh. Very strange. I say mark out with torches, but we don't really have any. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Where's my sticks gone? I've oh, got a few. Use some charcoal. So let's make out an 8 by 8 area. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now this is the 8 by 8 area uh, which I'm going to use. I'm trying to I do it one back because I want to usually use a channel at some point. We'll do it like this and then I'll, I'll switch it around a bit. Basically the idea is this is the area you use. So I'm going to use stone brick for this. So, make out a basic outline of stone. Oh, it could be anything you want to use, really. It doesn't have to be stone, but I'm using stone just for this um, tutorial or demonstration or whatever. Just for my farm, anyway. It's, I, I guess it's personal preference. Now, you want to knock out these back two. Here, right in the centre. So then you've got these. Uh, replace these back ones here. Stone. I really shouldn't have done that because I've ended up with two cobblestone. Um, now, I do believe I need to go one, two. Keep going round. Da 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 da. Now you don't really need to do this all the way up, but that little back area because you can actually put um, stone over the top, but it's basically where the water source is going to be. So, so put it down like that. Now. You want to... Uh, let's put the stone there. Now, I'm not going to put the water in yet, but basically I'm going to put... Now, I've got loads of these signs. Now, um, some glass panels. So, the glass is going to go here. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Actually, leave one. So, I need to get in. So, just leave one open so you can get inside. Now, these... I think I've got enough, but basically you're just going to do this. And I'll explain the reason for this when I'm when I'm done with it. Uh, boom, boom. I'm hoping I've got enough signs. I may not. Thankfully, there's a trees just all the way over there which I can use if I don't. Just gonna be cutting it close. 
basically the reason is it stops the water from flowing down. Because uh, you're going to have two levels of water. Uh, damn it, I know we're going to run out at some point. So now I need to run back. Uh, have we got any more wood? No. Come here, trees. You've got all the wood I need. Good thing I was collect just before. And I thought I might have been, for one episode, I might have been able to have enough um, materials, but I guess not. So let's build some more. Nine gonna be enough? Yeah, nine will be more than I think I should build too many. I need three. Damn it. Now, uh, I don't really do anything else, so let's put these signs away for now so I don't need them. So basically what you're gonna do is use the water. Now I've got a... You can walk through the signs, so I don't need to worry about it. Basically I've got an infinite water supply up there, so what I'm gonna do is put water there. Now this shouldn't flow... no. It wasn't meant to flow out, but I've got to do something. Now, you do need to put stone above it uh, to stop the, obviously the water coming out. Now, if you look, the way the signs work, signs don't let the water flow down. They actually stop the water, so... Because it acts as a block, <laughs> which is more or less funny enough. So you can actually use it to your advantage. Now, I've put some water down. Let's get some more. Now I need to make this, uh, oh, let's get on here, now I need to make this actually turn into source block. If I can make, get a few to turn into source blocks, it makes it a lot easier, so let's jump up here, and I'll put you there. Now oh, come on, just turn, let's need a few to turn to source blocks, uh, use that one. Right, there we go, so have you seen that, we've got a few that's turned to source blocks, now I can use them. There's water, and now I can put them on this side. Now, if you get enough of them, they should all automatically turn into source blocks. It's the way Minecraft physics works, uh, which is kind of quite cool. So, if I hit that one, now they all should... There we go. So, that's a still bit of water. Now, this is where all your chickens are going to go. So, again, you need to build it a few more higher. To stop them from getting out. But, basically, this is where your chickens are going to go. So you put them on here, da da da, like this. Now you would, you could use glass panes, but I'm going to use glass because I don't want the chickens actually getting onto the ledge that they leave. So do that, and then uh, can I? That's pressure plates. I need to get some half slabs. Now uh, you want to raise this back level a bit higher, and the reason for that is. Um, so you can chuck eggs at it. Now you can just do it another way if you felt like it. You can just have a little ladder system. But it makes it a lot easier, you could say. Because um, you can just stand back, chuck eggs at the damn thing, and watch chicken pop out. Now I'm going to have it uh, next four high, is it? I'm going to fall off and take damage. Yes, it's four high up. So now I can stand back and chuck chicken. Now I can actually still get out, I believe. So I actually need to put half slabs on the on the part there. So let's get some of them done. So uh, I don't have, that should be enough. I hope. Twenty-four. Yeah, it should be more than enough. That. I'm going to get myself back up there. Uh, use cobblestone. There we go. So now if I put half slabs on top of all these blocks, the chicken should not be able to actually get out. Do I have enough? Please tell me I do. Ooh. Made that full block. Yeah, so now the chickens will be in there but they won't be able to get out. So that's kind of cool. So that should stop them from moving. Ow! What the? I hate you. Die. I actually need to light this area up some more. Don't mind mobs spawning, but they just annoy me. And what happened to my torches? I'm sure I had torches behind the back of all this. Ooh. Getting a bit sidetracked, but hey, I don't want any creepers coming along and blowing it up because it's hard work. Uh, turn the sound down a bit. I know the music's nice and soothing sometimes when it seems like the music plays the right tune when you actually want it to. It just kind of a nice touch to it. Now, let's get into the next part. Now, we're going to move on to the bottom part. Now, 
you want to put water in these bottom parts here. So one in there, one in there, and then oh, and get out. Oh. And again, and then you want water in the two corners. So in the left corner and the right corner. Now if I can actually get up. So come in. So want water there. And water there. Now what it'll do, it'll push all the eggs down this way. And what I can now do is have I got wood? I got plenty of wood I hope. Well, maybe not then. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Need one more. What am I doing? One more will do. I hope. Now, all it'll do is now put a glass pane. Boom. I want to cheat a bit. Switch it all to peaceful. Now that's the building complete. So we'll put a few torches on. The mobs do actually still now spawn on half slabs, so I do actually want to light this up. On the top half of on the bottom half of slabs. Uh charcoal, use you. Which you could say is annoying, but it seems to stop people from abusing the whole tactic of just using half slabs to uh, stop mobs spawning. Now, hopefully no mobs will spawn in there. Now basically all I need to do is get my chicken eggs. Now, I already saved up a fair few. Uh, put you in there for now. And the reason for that was because I wanted to build a chicken farm and chuck a load of eggs in there. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can actually build a way up. Or do what I do. So you just chuck a few eggs. Boom. Hopefully get a few chickens. There's one. Oh, and he's dead. I kind of pushed him into the wall. Right. Got one. One from 16. It would have been two. Oh, there's no one. Two. Four, five. So I've got five little chickens. Now what they're going to do is, I'm going to say they should not fall down. Oh, another egg there. Gimme. Oh, there's two eggs. Oh, thank you. I'm going to leave you guys in there, actually, I'm going to make a fence gate just so I can get in there. Basically, have those eggs, chickens there, so just in case anything happens, but... Uh, a few more. Oh, another chick, there we go. So we've got six in there now. So when these mature, they'll start dropping eggs out, and they'll fall down, and they'll collect on here. Now, you could actually set a redstone signal and delete underneath this block. Say you're all the way in your house, all the way, say I'm in my house all the way down there. I could have a redstone signal send all the way down, telling me, ooh, eggs have dropped. And just letting me know I can come and pick some up. Now the cool thing about this, they're all contained, so they can't get out. And the... How the... How did you get out? And the other cool thing is... You know, if you get enough of them, they'll constantly keep dropping eggs, and then you can use them. You can actually use it a two-way system, really. You can use it as an egg farm, or you can use it just to gather a load of eggs, and then kill them all again, and then you get loads of stuff dropped at the bottom, and all the way here. Which is kind of cool, if you ask me. Um, so, basically, the water will push them all onto these plates, and then all you need to do is come along and pick them all up. So, yeah, that's just the basic egg farm. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out here, and then when these chickens have matured, and I've got enough of them, um, I'm going to actually show you how it works. So, I'll be back in two ticks, guys. Welcome back, guys. Uh, my chicken farm is now complete. I've, most of the chickens now have grown up. Uh, if you can just see from here, I obviously can't zoom in because I haven't got Optifine anymore. I've got to wait until 1.4, and then it updates, and then obviously I can use it. Um, now, what I've done, I've done a few slight changes. I've removed the bottom block, well, the um, pressure plates, wooden pressure plates, uh, pressure plates, and replaced them with uh, glass panels. I've done a two trench down blocks wise. Um, okay. Uh, put a source block on this right hand side underneath this block. 
Uh, so the water gets pushed down. So basically the eggs come down. Oh, actually, I can show you from up here. Uh, may a staircase right hand side for you. So you can get up and well, see the little load of looking chickens. There's plenty of them. Uh, they're all dropping eggs. Now look at that. So if I took a load of, say, dirt in there. Let's just do that. Let's head down. Basically what it's going to do, follow that egg. They're all going to get pushed down. So there's another egg there. Pushed into the centre. Pushed down. And then stand further up away. Otherwise it's not going to work. I could just stand here and collect them, but it seems a lot easier just uh, letting them do it. Drop down into this little gully. Uh, the water pushes it along down this channel, um, drops down a block, gets pushed around and ends up there. Now, it's a lot more handy. I know the system before was simple, all I need to do is run up and push it along. But for me, it seemed like a bit too much effort. So, I'm actually going to collect these eggs that are in here. So I could just go down, I could just stand here and stay FK and all the items will come straight to me then. Which is uh, quite handy. Put the eggs in there. I don't want to need the food anymore. Um, if you can notice the sound is a bit off because there's that many chickens bouncing up and down. It seems like it's overloading the sound a bit and of the game, not my sound. It's just the overload of the game and it seems to make the sound cut out quite quickly. So you'll obviously hear sheep win back and then instantly stop. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but... You know, it's doable, it's part, it's the... I've never noticed it before, but in the older Minecrafts, but um, I'm assuming it's because of the updating sounds and that it's doing this. I'm just going to stand further away. So there's the egg farm. That's complete now, so I can leave that running. It'll gather up eggs. Obviously they'll only last five minutes, but if I get enough chickens in there, they'll be popping them out quite fast. Um, I can probably get, what, a stack of them? 16 of them in probably a minute? Maybe five minutes actually, say five minutes. So it's not too bad. Um, now if I have enough, I can get them quite a lot more quicker. But for me, that's kind of cool. So now if I, and then if I want to kill them all, I can do that as well. So if I want a load of chicken or feathers, I can just kill them all. It'll drop all the resources and then they'll just... Um, well, it'll drop down and go into that and then collect them all. Saves me running around in there, uh, which is kind of cool. So I hope you like it. Uh, again, this is not my design. I did not come up with it. Uh, I'll probably put a link in the description um, to where I got it from, uh, probably to the Minecraft wiki as well because it's quite handy there. There's a load of different tutorials and information about different things farming wise and all that which I use uh, fairly often enough if I'm not 100% sure how to make some up. One thing I am wanting to actually make um, next time is a using the spawner, the zombie spawner that's down there and use it to make a well, mob trap, you could say. Um, my farm is still going. Those cocoa beans need harvesting. You know, I want to use this down here, uh, this mob spawner. Because, you know, even though it's only zombie flesh, they actually do drop um, other cool stuff as well. Even though I've been to 16 blocks. So I'll take these chests. There's no about them being there anymore. Uh, there's a bit of, you know, there's a few areas I haven't explored yet, which is funnily enough. You know, you would have thought I would have done. There's some iron there. And does this go all the way out then? How about that? It looks it does. So, put a torch there. Oh, coal. I might as well grab some of this while I'm down here. So, oh, I've just leveled up. I'm going to see if I can enchant a few more bits and pieces as well. Um, I'm going to try and make um, a full set of diamond armor when I find enough diamonds. And how the hell is that glass, gra bleh, grass block there? That <laughs> well, that don't make no sense. Right, so I believe that's it for now. But yeah, I'm going to try... Oh, that, that seems weird, that. At least I can have a little farm on the ground. But yeah, I believe that is it for now. So I'll see you guys next episode. Like I said, hopefully make a nice mob uh, grinder. Not for XP, it's just for rare mob drops. Because I do want a zombie head. <laughs> but obviously it's very rare to get them. So... Well, I'll see you guys next time. Again, I hope you appreciate and like the video. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And, well, I'll see you all later. So, uh, goodbye.